Game over. Elon Musk's final warning for Germany. Elon Musk just rattled the German automotive industry with Giga Berlin, giving Germany their final warning. With the lengthy history of German automakers, one would expect Germany to lead the automotive industry's electrical revolution. It took an American entrepreneur, though, to convince the rest of the world to take electric vehicles seriously. But how did Tesla manage to outperform the whole German automobile industry in such a short amount of time? Now this is why and how Tesla will conquer the entire German automobile industry. Everyone knows that Mercedes-Benz is a luxury car manufacturer that represents riches and prestige around the world. Despite their high prices, Mercedes-Benz sold approximately 2.5 million vehicles in 2020. These were in addition to the numerous trucks sold under the Daimler's five brands in the same year, bringing in a staggering $43 billion in income. This business dates back to the turn of the 19th century. BMW, another well-known German automobile manufacturer, also competes in the luxury segment. Across all of its brands, the company has shipped over 2.3 million vehicles worldwide. Since 1916, when it began production in Munich, this automaker has been continuing strong. Volkswagen completes the German trifecta, having sold 9.3 million cars in 2020, dwarfing the other two businesses and generating a staggering 223 billion euros in revenue, despite a 15% drop in deliveries. Volkswagen is a parent corporation of prominent brands such as Audi and Porsche and is famous for its iconic Beetle car. It first opened its doors in Berlin in 1937. Volkswagen's Wolfsburg facility produces 800,000 automobiles per year. Despite its long history and achievements, Tesla, an American startup that's less than 20 years old, terrified the German auto industry when it planned to open a factory in Berlin. It's one thing to be hammered by Tesla from afar. It's quite another thing to have Tesla come to where you have home court advantage to set up the onslaught. This singular act of defiance, of taking the fight to their home turf, has put Germany on edge, with Volkswagen CEO Herbert Diess warning his compatriots that Tesla threatens to disrupt the status quo if they all keep their complacent attitude. He also predicted a coming catastrophe for workers, claiming that thousands of jobs would be lost if they did not take on the task of electrifying the automobile sector. Diess's statements are a grim prophecy that's already coming true, and his foresight has left him in serious water. Diess is concerned about the future of auto manufacturing in Germany, expressing his concerns to his employees about the iconic Wolfsburg plant and whether their children and grandchildren will be able to work there. However, with renewed interest in electric vehicles and climate action as a result of the pandemic, Diess is optimistic about the future of auto manufacturing in Germany. Although Diess has plenty of reasons to be concerned about the industry's incapacity to change quickly in the EV world because Tesla is changing at a terrific pace. Tesla is clearly out innovating the rest of the German auto sector, and as Diess warns, if German automakers are to catch up with Tesla, they must undertake significant and fundamental reforms. Musk expressed concern that Tesla would not be able to locate enough qualified personnel in Germany to staff Giga Berlin and ask people from all over the world to fill the gap. Musk has stated that manufacturing will be Tesla's major competitive advantage. So let's look at how Tesla's production compares to Volkswagen's. While many people used to criticize Tesla's automobiles for their poor quality while praising their software range and acceleration, this is no longer the case. As Dees, who points out, Tesla plans to produce half a million cars with only 7,000 personnel in Giga Berlin. Volkswagen's Wolfsburg facility, on the other hand, requires 65,000 workers and 5,000 robots to create 800,000 vehicles per year. Even when comparing Tesla to Volkswagen, there's evidence of what could be the case of too many cooks spoiling the broth or just a general lack of output. For example, Volkswagen will create an electric car from start to finish in about 30 hours in Wolfsburg, while Tesla will build a car from start to finish in just 10 hours in Giga Berlin. Volkswagen is attempting to reduce its production time to 20 hours. Volkswagen has been unable to catch up to Tesla in the production of electric vehicles. To accomplish this and for more effective production, the CEO has floated the possibility of decreasing his workforce. Volkswagen has also pledged to create a world-class EV plant in Wolfsburg and is investing billions of dollars in battery production plans to rival Tesla's. However, there are hints that Tesla is establishing itself as a leader in the German auto sector even though it has yet to construct a single car in the country. What will happen when Tesla begins producing vehicles in Giga Berlin? Total devastation. 
Tesla has the largest capitalization in the auto industry and one of the highest in the world in the stock market. This effectively provides Tesla access to an endless amount of cash to support its expansion. Tesla's new 4680 battery packs will be produced at large quantities at the Giga Berlin battery factory. It's a live testament to Tesla's impact on Germany's automotive industry. It has already begun attracting other companies to Germany in anticipation of the extensive supply chain that Giga Berlin will require. For example, a lithium processing company based in Canada, Rocktech Lithium, is building a blank near Giga Berlin with enough annual production to build 500,000 cars in conjunction with its battery production. Tesla even received the lion's share of Germany's spring battery production incentives, even though it's a foreign firm. If German corporations are to catch up to Tesla, they must do substantially more and move much faster. This is because while Tesla is unquestionably the market leader in electric vehicles, it is not resting when it comes to innovation. Do you believe that Tesla will outperform the German automakers when it starts production in Germany? Let us know in the comment section below. Tell us what you think. Well, my friends, that's all for this video, and we'll see you in the next one.